catchy's good. Na na na. Na 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 na. It's nice. Hey guys, it's Essence and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a curly hair challenge in collaboration with Nyasia Hill. So after you watch my video, I'm gonna need you to go over to her channel and watch hers, which the link and everything will be in the description. So yeah, I'm gonna need you to go over to her channel and watch how her routine went with products for under $20. <laughs> so as you can see, my hair is 100% wet. <laughs> um, it has product in it and everything. So this is what it looks like before, you know, it just kind of puffs up. <laughs> now, as you know, natural hair products are very expensive. Under $20, I was like, this should be fun. But I did not think it would be as hard as it was. <laughs> because I've tried products that are like $5, $6. You know, I've tried cheap products just like I've tried uh, $30 products. But I don't know like why I thought going to Walmart, I could just find what I need and call it a day for under $20. I don't know what I was thinking. Because I was in Walmart like stuck for a while <laughs> because I did not know what to get. Under $20 for a shampoo, a conditioner, um, a deep conditioner, and a styler at least. Like if, and imagine if you wanted a leave-in conditioner and like a gel. Personally, I don't always like use a leave-in or a gel. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I usually just get like a styler, whether that's a cream or like um, a butter of some sort, right? Yeah, like trying to find products that were like good products at that because, you know, you can find something cheap at Walmart, but at the same time, I'm not about to just put anything on my hair, you know? Like... I'm just not. <laughs> but um, I'm also like curious as to how my hair's gonna dry because that's the most important thing. Like my hair could look real nice right now, wet, but like once it dries, it could just, whatever I decided to use as a styler could just, psh, and now my hair's a mess, right? But but for right now, you can see we got some definition. Not some, we actually got a lot of definition. I'm not gonna lie, what I did use to style my hair, I have used before. Um, the shampoo, I've actually never used, but I used the conditioner I used. And if you wanna know what I used for my hair to get on um, like this right now, stay tuned, and we're gonna get into that. And that's because my hair literally takes days to dry 100% so um, it wasn't fully dry and I wanted to air dry with this product just because I felt like diffusing honestly like would have just the definition I do have would have just disappeared because to be honest like you know it, my hair is defined a little bit you know it's not as defined as I've seen it before um, it's like it's softish. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie though, it's not a bad product. You know, honestly, maybe it'll come out better if I did use a gel over top. That's something I'll have to try like on my own. One thing I really do like about this is the smell. <laughs> this product smells amazing. Other than that, like, you know, this is okay. This is not the best my hair has been. It's not the worst. This is an okay hair day. The shampoo and the conditioner. I really like that conditioner. It leaves my hair like soft whenever I use it, like really soft actually. And it's like a repairing um, line. So like, I really do find that it, um, it leaves my hair feeling really good, to be honest. Like my hair is just always really soft and I really love it. And so, you know, I wanted to use the shampoo as well. Cause I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it cheap. It was like, I think about like 340 something for both products. 
But um, yeah, to be honest, the shampoo left my hair feeling a lot cleaner than I thought. Like I washed it out and I was like, oh snap. And it was honestly, it left my hair soft as well. I was like, okay, this is a good shampoo. Conditioner, like I said, I, I like that conditioner. I've used it before, so I was, I was not disappointed or anything. Like I knew what to expect. Now the three minute miracle moist. Um, this claims it's a deep conditioner, right? Moisture in three minutes. I was like, what? I've used Ozzy's um, Mega Moist Conditioner. I really like that conditioner. Now this three minute moist, like, deep conditioner, I really expected more. I don't know why. I've always heard good things about this product in terms of like, you know, just the three minutes, what it does. I didn't feel like it really left my hair that moisturized or anything after the three minutes. Like, my hair just was like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it did a whole lot for me personally. But yeah, that's my, um, <laughs> my overall experience with these products for under $20. This was, I think, around $3. The OGX um, Moroccan thing that I used um, to style my hair was like five dollars. This was the most expensive out of all the um, products I used. So yeah, um, this was a challenge, and a challenge it was. <laughs> but um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this was in collaboration with. Nyasha Hill. So after you watch my video, I'm gonna need you to go over to her channel and watch her video to see how her hair turned out. Okay? The link will be in the description. And also make sure to subscribe to her channel. And also make sure to subscribe to mine if you aren't already. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, let me know what you think. You can follow me on social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked below. Like always, of course. <laughs> and yeah, so I will catch you guys back next week. Bye. Relax, let me do my thing. Relax, let me do my thing. Relax, let me do my thing.